Magic con shell. Do 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 do. Hola. Soy Tora. <laughs> oh, great conch. Show me your wisdom. Fuck off. The conch has spoken. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to like I'd love to keep you up for like two days straight and just see what your Delulu brain produces <laughs> because this is like this is, if this is like well sleep advocated brain Alec then good god yeah I wouldn't do the same <laughs> <laughs> obviously not gonna force it or do it because not good for mental being and sanity but at any point if like for example you like, like we've got a group of people and we're chilling at my house and like having drinks or something and we stay up a vast amount of time I'm gonna have my phone on record ready we should <laughs> so do that one day we should though we should absolutely well actually when this when this channel does get traction I do want to do uh, like an awake a I will happily do it I can be the only yeah, person to do it yeah I wanna do it to see how long we can stay up for I can stay awake that is the most laughable thing I've ever heard you say. I've been staying awake until he goes to work in the morning. Okay, well, I didn't know that, okay? So, actually, I did know that. You have to help me with this. Um, you would fall asleep before us purely because you would get I, bored yeah, and get tired. Bored. True. And there's yeah. other people awake, so you wouldn't feel like you had to stay yeah. awake. But we'd play games. We'd also watch memes. Or just watch... Do, do, do meme streams. You know, the idea that was taken by that pedo. The pedo that I'm so sad became a pedo because I used to grow up watching his new videos all the time. What is it with Genuinely Minecraft YouTubers, though? He, it's true. No, Schlatt, Schlatt's not a pedo. <laughs> wow, you made it big. What are you going to do to celebrate? I was thinking maybe we should go get some drinks. No, got to do something better. I just have this sudden urge <laughs> to do what? I have this sudden urge to... Yeah. Flirt with a minor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's make. Okay. Let's all make a pact right now. <laughs> this is really jokes. I know none of us are gonna actually like go down that rabbit hole. But let's make a pact right now. When this channel makes it big and famous, oh, oh, <laughs> the drugs will do that. <laughs> Tripping balls. I'm dripping dick. Let's all let's all make let's all make a pact right now, us three. I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. <laughs> don't don't quote Harry Potter. Not now. No, shush. How do I meant to? You just get good. I meant to go around, that I? Yes, that's a shortcut. <gasps> no, but when when this channel makes it big, we will not flirt with minors. Agreed. Amen. Agreed? Yes, I'm cool. confused on how the fuck I died just now. I also agree. Excellent. I'm glad we got I'm glad we came to an agreement. I want everyone at home who's gonna find this video at random points in the past to clip this. In the past? In, in the, the future? future? I'm running off three hours future. sleep. Let me be. <laughs> Let me be. I want I want people I want people in the future to clip this and to quote it when <laughs> whenever whenever any of us are gonna make a joke they're gonna pull the clip and be like you said you uh, yeah, 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 you promised <laughs> you promised <laughs> I'm still gonna be single in like five years time I'm gonna bring up that I've got a new girlfriend they're gonna be like okay how old are they <laughs> just to rub in the face of like don't you hey 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 just yeah my sandwich no <sighs> man congratulations Matt Path for doing the bare minimum to doing what we didn't was think Matt, we'd have to ask anyone to was do. Was Matt Pat involved in any controversy during his career? No. No. That's, Thank you for doing the that, okay, minimum that, that we shouldn't have to ask anyone to do. Okay. Can I not get okay. fucking locked on? That part, that part's a bit more challenging and a bit more, um, like, congratulations. Yeah, not no controversy part, at No all. controversy at all. That's but, something. Because even Markiplier has been involved in controversy. 
Yeah. It was stupid what controversy. What is this about it was Jack Sets guy on following Cloak and him on everything? What? I don't Haven't know. You heard? No. Oh. People are saying that he unfollowed every the two accounts on everything. Hmm. Have you heard about the new Hunger Games book coming out? Oh God. No, please pray tell. I haven't seen or read the Hunger Games, by the way. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> You, my friend, are in a hole. <laughs> cool. Oh, uh, I came to a realization. I'm going to dig this hole deeper just, cause, just, just to get a reaction out of her. I came to a realization. I don't watch movies or read. Okay, first of all, I just don't read. Um, but first That's of all, you're a literate. Yeah, I actually kind of am. <laughs> like, like whenever I'm trying to like type things, I I'll you're actually, literate. I'll actually find myself like str- he's worse than I am. I'll find myself struggling to form coherent sentences. <laughs> I'm like, oh, cool. Um, but anyway, uh, I don't watch movies if they don't compel me enough to watch them, and I just, I don't know, Hunger Games hasn't compelled me to watch it. Same. Neither with Maze Runner. <laughs> Same. I wasn't compelled to watch Maze Runner. I watched it because she wanted to watch it. Yeah, and even then, I watched the first one and some of the second one. Don't get me wrong. Sorry. If I'm... No. You didn't want to watch them? I didn't have the one to watch them before, but then we started watching them, and now we're watching them. He's doing it for you. Take this as a win, TJ. Sorry. No, no, you don't understand. You have his balls in your purse, and you're winning this. <laughs> um, but no, no, no. no. If, if I if I do get a girlfriend and she wants to watch one of those things, I'll be like, yeah, cool, okay, we'll watch it. I don't, I don't care. It's just I won't go out of my way to watch them. I'm not compelled. Yet this is coming from the guy who, because he wanted to do movie essays, and I still want to do it at some point. Watched Fifty Shades of Fucking Grey. And that that video is now going to see the light of day, so I've got that movie just ingrained in my brain for nothing now. Well, Suzanne Collins, the person who writes them, okay. said that she wasn't, like, when she wrote the original Hunger Games trilogy, she said that she wasn't going to write unless there's something about the world, like political or anything, that she wants to say. She doesn't write unless she has something to say about the world. Okay. She wrote the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, like, COVID era, when everything was happening and, you know, like, everything was happening <clears throat> with Trump and whatever. She wrote that because of that situation. And we're getting a new book of Hamish's games so soon after getting the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. The book is coming out March 2025, and the movie is already set to it- release November 2026. She has mad shit to say, and I want to know what she's going to say about it. I need to know. So what you're saying is that she's the ultimate gossip girl? Yes. <laughs> that's yes, awesome. she is. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool to think about. Um, she said that she will not write anything. That's why that is her like, only book that she's actually kept going with, because she's never wanted to write unless it, she's got something she needs to say about the world like political or otherwise and so when she wrote the hunger games that was all about like the original trilogy she wrote that all about like the money differences in the world and like poor people and how like rich people get poor people to work for them just for their entertainment oh right he has cool voice lines yeah, I was reading the reading the scientist. So He's in a limp head after all. She then wrote the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes about like COVID era and um like I want to see this like controlling people like Trump being president and like that political side of it. That's what she wrote the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes for, right? Oh. I need to know what she has to say about the world this time with Hamish's games. And Hamish's games are the most brutal games ever. Because there was 48 tributes. There was so much pain and suffering and death. And, like, the bloodbath is said to be absolutely horrendous. And, like, I need to know what she has to say about this. Like, what is she meant to be writing about? What is happening? 
is she, what is happening? What is so on her mind that she's decided she needs to write a book and bring out the movie straight after? What is so important? I feel like TJ has a lot to say on this stuff. TJ likes <laughs> we can tell. You make you make you make up for the reading that me and Alec don't do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You very much make up for the reading that me and Alec don't 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 do. And if I I yeah. No, that actually yeah, that sounds really nice. I think that I think that's why I haven't been compelled to watch or read the books or the movies. Because I don't like political stuff. I just don't. I understand the importance behind it. Yeah. And obviously with when it comes to like voting and all that stuff, I will obviously pay attention because it is important. But I won't spend any leisure time or any like of my like knowingly free time delving into the thing. See? It's why I nearly failed civics because I just fucking hate it. I did 53% I got on civics. 53%. I passed by a mark. See... I don't like learning about that stuff, but I like how she puts it in, like, a fictional world, and she, like, bl like, it's fictional, but you can still relate to it, like, yes, you though. can still see what she's trying to say, and the importance of it, while having something fun and fictional to read, mm. like, I love how she writes like that, I think it's amazing, and an amazing technique that I have like never like I don't really know anyone else who does that and I just think she's an amazing writer she's an author I always have looked up to like she's amazing fair enough on the topic of excellent writing uh just cause um just as good just cause yeah it just came to my head before I forget about it um Hey, he sounds coming. Hey, he sounds coming, Sydney. I know. <laughs> I know. Um, also, um, something. Um, obviously, with Beetlejuice coming to Melbourne, uh, we're on Broadway now, by the way, for the people audience who don't know. Um, Beetlejuice coming to Melbourne. I've signed up for an email thing, so they let me know when tickets go on sale and all that. <laughs> I have um, signed up for a long time. My source, maybe we have the same source. They've also said that they're trying to get Evan Dear Evan Hansen. To yep. come over, yeah, cool. Where's our sauce? Cool. Oh my god, and Wicked's coming to her. Yeah. In December. Yeah, which is funny because my mate at TAFE, um, she went over to um the East Coast to watch it. Oh my god. And now god. it's coming here, so it's like, well, what's the point of that then? I... <laughs> L. <laughs> yeah, literally, literally, for, 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 for the cost of flight, hotels, and everything there, you could have stayed here, watched it, and stayed at Crown, which is a bloody brilliant hotel. I... Everything's overpriced, though. True. Just because it's crowned. True, but... Like, just because they can, they do. True, but... And, Alec, unfortunately, you don't know the ledgers of this just yet. But the casino's awesome as fuck. Um, yeah, I've heard it's not. I've gone into the casino once just for, like, a walkthrough. Like, yeah. me and Mum walked through yeah. like, one time when we went to see a show. I think, I, okay, sorry, no curve up. The atmosphere is cool. The atmosphere is cool, but I don't, I, I just don't like casinos. I think, I just, I don't see the appeal in them. They're purely made yeah. to take your money. I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm actually not going to lie. This is what I'm pretty proud of myself with. I, so I've only been to the, the casino once. That was for my 18th. Mm -hmm. Um, then I went gambling and I had money to gamble, so I gambled. Um... And so I, I gambled, and I was actually proud of myself, because in my brain, I was just thinking to myself, like, I don't understand how you can get addicted to this. Yes. I was losing a lot, though, so I can't even think of that about it. I was losing a lot. But every time I won, yeah, sure, there was a bit of like, ooh, yay, I won. But I was also like, but I'm probably going to lose it again. <laughs> See, and then I do also, sorry, just want to completely defend myself quickly here before people are going to jump in the comments, hate fucking like, wait a minute, I understand what addiction is. I have had two in the past, okay? This addiction can, like, I understand that, like, there is something that I'm just not seeing. And if you do have an addiction, seek help. Help's good. Um, but I'm proud. Especially men. Men's mental health. Yes. Men's mental health, men's mental health month. Um, okay. but... But, um, gambling, I can safely say, is not going to be an addiction I'm going to fall under. See, because gambling, I did it, I was like, yeah. gambling is, like, runs in my family. 
Yeah, I'm gonna say that wrong in my family. Also, me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Tia is like casually having a conversation. Her family tie, her family names in the background. Like, yeah, it's the only thing I'm doing. Family good age. I just parried. Casually didn't need to do it, but just do it anyway. It's funny. Molotov. Anyway, um, so like I've just never seen the appeal, but I walked through it once, and I'm like, I think, you know, whatever. You yeah. do you. Yeah. Um. Anyway, but. Alec and I are going to see Wicked. I have decided. Alec, we're going to see Wicked. Okay. Pretty cool. Um, I... The one thing I want... Alec, be aware. The one thing I want to do <laughs> before I die is I want to see Hamilton and or Phantom of the Opera if it ever goes to Broadway again. Please... That's fair. Ah, wrong button. That's fair. Um, I'm probably going to save up for tickets to Wicked. Just because, okay, again, I would like to point out, again, I don't often go to watch something if it doesn't compel me, and unfortunately Wicked falls under that category. It doesn't compel me to watch it. In saying that, though, there hasn't been a Broadway that I've gone to that I haven't enjoyed. Yeah. So, I'm going to ride that high. That'll be a high I'll ride. I um, that's so bad. I know um, someone who's in hairspray. Who I would like to go and see because Hesper is at Prime right now. Did you know? True, it is. And I know, or like next month, whatever. I know someone who's in it. I would like to go and see her and go to stage door and see her. But I would rather go to see Wicked. <laughs> cool, okay. Because like, I could see her anytime. She's an amazing performer. I've been very close to her for a very long time. Mm. And I used to go to school with her. No yeah, fun. She was a few years older than me. Um, and I am so glad that she's in like a large scale musical because she is amazing. And I am so proud of her. Um, but I would rather go see Wicked. Fair enough. I've performed Wicked, I know. Like, you perform Wicked? Yeah. When? At school. Who were who you? I was ensemble and I was understudy. Okay. Let the bitch cook. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Nicely done. Holy shit. I parried the shit out of him. Yeah, so was, yeah. Nicely done. How about it? Nicely done. Yeah, I was lead ensemble and Alpha was understudy. And nice. I did one show where I, I performed as Alpha. Nice. Hmm. Did you sing Defying Gravity? Yes, I did. Did you do well? I did. Did you defy gravity? Well, we had a, like, cherry picker that we went up on. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was, like, we were harnessed. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me. We took off the safety controls for it, and it was so illegal. We took off the safety controls so it doesn't do the beeping. So that that is so illegal! <laughs> Yeah. That's so illegal! It's so illegal. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! We did it to Bad ass, but like, oh my god! So you wouldn't hear the beats during the show? Yeah. Seriously, we're the slow rise. Uh, defying gravity. Oh, it's a slow rise is a normal thing, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. How do you hide the cherry picker? Just black drapes? Yeah, and behind, like, the. Our wings, like our curtain, because she rises like at the side of the stage, oh, and it's meant yeah. to fly across the stage. Yeah. But we just did up and out the other way. Fair enough. Mm. Oh. Anyway, so oh. I have I know the ins and outs Hello, like, go. of Wicked, and I want to see how they do it, like in a proper performance of it, like yeah. professional. Yeah. Here's, here's, here's something that's unfortunate with me, and it's... Because here's the thing, I don't see Hamilton coming to Perth. No. What the fuck? Purely because we need to build a stage for Hamilton. Mm. Hamilton relies on the moving fucking disc thingy with Jingle. Yes, um. but... thing about that is... Crown has one. Yeah. They do have one. Crown has used it 
for so long. Like, it's been in so many, like, smaller performances. It's gone to Regal. It was made at Whopper. There's 20,000 of them going around. It could easily come to Crown. Okay, well, now I'm not seeing Now I'm not seeing an excuse now. Regal or anything. But... It's never come here because there's not big enough attraction for it. Like, you get all of the massive musicals that come here because so many people want to see it. But because Lin Manuel is not performing as Hamilton, yeah. there's less of an attraction to go and see it. So it's not going to come to her where music, musical theatre isn't as big of a renown as, like, Sydney or Melbourne. It's not going to come here because there's not a big enough traction. They're not going to gain a big enough crowd. They don't think. There's been a whole thing on that. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. Um, next time. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Next time. Next time. Next time. Next time.